Speaking of animals, we have a special treat for you this morning. We're going to feature some animals who are part of the Detroit Zoo family for more than 80 years. Yeah, they're excited to be introduced to the latest generation. There they are. Those are prairie dogs. Right now, a couple <laughs> dozen pups are running around, having some fun, tearing up the sod, munching <laughs> on the grass, and learning, I guess, how to build elaborate underground burrows. They build bedrooms, they build kitchens, they build toilets, uh, storage facilities. Uh, all of that, of course, gives them cover from, from predators. Uh, it also gives them cover from weather. Uh, once they're underground, whether it's really hot or really cold above ground, they're essentially insulated. It's they, impressive they what sound they like build. the smartest rodents around anywhere. I know. I wonder if they decorate. All right, now, if you and your kids... I want to see some of these little buddies go nose to nose with these prairie dog pups. Uh, you, you better hurry up because they're growing up fast. Um, by the way, um, they can go underground and pop up next to the animals in plastic bubbles. But if you want to see the pups, like I said, they grow up quickly. So get out there to the Detroit Zoo as soon as you can. I go to the zoo a lot. I have uh, two little guys, and we've yeah. done that. And, you know, the smile on the kids' faces when the prairie dogs are really close. They and, pop up. Yeah, yeah. And they're not bothered by, you know, by whatever goes on in that glass. They've learned to ignore it. <laughs> so the kids are in there, and you see all the kids, you know, you like four kids, <laughs> you know, popping up at once. Right. Isn't it cool to know about the animals, too, before you go, and the rodents and all the other? Sure. Yeah, the exhibits. I didn't Gives know you an idea had... of what to look for. Yeah.